Right, folks, I, where did I go? I've no idea, I wasn't with you. Bing, Aldi. I was walking around Aldi, and um, why did I pop in Aldi? I don't know, you got me some gin. I got you some gin. Uh, very nice gin it is it too. Is. It's not bad, is it? It's all right. How much was it? Uh, that was fourteen pound or thirteen ninety nine. Mm. Which ain't too bad, is it? When you think of gin. No, gin's quite expensive. Gin's quite expensive. Uh, London dry gin, but the Aldi version. Yeah, it's nice. Anyway, I know what it was. I popped up to uh, Subway and I've reviewed something there, and you will already have seen it. I think. I don't know. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to put that out tomorrow night. Uh, so anyway, I popped into Aldi. Uh, I seen Jarv. Hello, Jarv. How are you? Well, you were all right when I was talking to you. And so um, Jarv had popped in to get a few beers. And I went and had a look at the beers as well. And I thought I'd be a little bit... Because now I'm not tied down to certain beers. I can pretty much do what I bloody well like. So uh, I was looking at the beers and I seen this one. St. Pierre. Or is it pie? Er. <laughs> Saint Pierre. Yeah, it's that one. I'll see if I can get it. Is it in focus? There it is. Is it in focus? You've got to cover your face up. What are you that saying that for? We're not in the bedroom, June. <laughs> <laughs> I love it you. tries to say. I love you, my sweetheart. The little <laughs> jokey jokes that we have. Uh, so anyway, get your hand off me nozzle. Look at you. You can't oh, wait to get your hand around. Look at her look. She can't wait to make me court go pop and get it over with. Just be careful. Yeah, don't get it. Yeah. Don't get me spotlights. Else I won't be happy. Uh, so anyway, seen this and uh, I picked it up. I know absolutely nothing about beers, to be honest, do I, folks? Let's, let's be honest. I'm pretty, you know, I know what I like. I can't describe stuff how other YouTubers can. So I just get on with it. Um, so I've seen this. I don't think it was that expensive. I liked it because it got the champagne cork thing on top. Yeah, cover the end up with, it, with that cloth because I don't want you taking my eye out or the spotlights. Are you sure we're not in the bedroom? Or <laughs> twist the bottle and hold the cork. Oh, my cork went pop, baby. And there's the cork. I love how it does that and like how it all of a sudden just expands. Looks don't like it? a mushroom. Looks like a mushroom. Oh, that smells nice. <laughs> that smells. Right, I'm going to try and be a YouTube and beer expert now. And all you professional beer YouTubers are all laughing at me. Take the piss. <laughs> yeah, take the piss. Smells. Malty, does it? Does beer. No, yeah, it smells beer. like get beer. It just smells get like it in a bloody glass. Fucking beer. What's that got, June? Oh, it's got good head. And you can't beat good head. Is it? Oh. It smells sweet, malty kind of thing. Oh. No, it's not for you, June. No, it's quite bitter. I don't know, I wouldn't like it now you said that. You ain't having on. Oh, you wanna, probably will. We don't want a pissed up bloody lurcher, uh, doodle. Do you think it's bitter? It is bitter. It's dry. I can see why the um, YouTube and beer community um, like it. Um, Just didn't want to go, Ginge. Put it in the glass. Yeah. Put some in the glass so you can all try it. Remember when you put a 20 pin in a cork from her? I do, yes. What's that? Now, you two, can you share a glass? I don't want any more. I'll have the bottle back, please, James, so I can. What? Well, I need to read it, don't I? I need to know what it is. It's beer. Yep. Yeah. And it's an alcoholic volume of 6.2 in a 750 milliliter bottle. Uh, now, um, Dylan likes that. Now, Dylan likes that, you see. It, it's really good, but it's nice. Mm. It's enriched with spices. Medieval uh, spices. Yes. 
St. Pierre Blonde is a blonde Belgian Abbey beer, uh, full and fruity with a slightly smoked yeast. <laughs> it's gassy. Aroma. <laughs> uh, the combination with a unique blend of herbs and spices give the top fermented beer a delicious warm and round flavour. What the? What's a round flavour? Circle. What's a round flavour? What? what? <laughs> A round, a shape. Yeah. The secret of Pierre's Abbey beer, St. Pierre, Pierre's uh, Abbey beer, is the use of medieval blend of herb and spices. We used to um, go on medieval nights, didn't we, Jim? Yeah, used to buy a bottle of mead, didn't we, as yeah. well? Just used to buy a bottle of mead and we'd get drunk mm. and it would be great. Used to be a place in Coventry, didn't they, that did it medieval nights? We used yeah. to go on when we used to work when I used to work at Cannon, didn't we? Yeah, you really don't like that beer, do you? I'm not too it's keen turned, on it. It's turned your face inside yeah. out, kind of. It's uh, from Bruges. Every town, every town used to have its own beer, each with its own individual character. In Bruges, that character was determined by a unique blend of her. I think they're just banging on about the her. They've just made the label to fill the bottle, banging on about the herbs and the spices from medieval times and all that. It is apparently it's an Abbey beer. I think um, if you're not entirely satisfied with this product, please return it. June, you'd be returning it, wouldn't you? Yeah, I don't like it at all. But, no. but Dylan does. He thinks that's a really nice beer. Mm. Yeah. Know your limits. Yeah, it's okay. It's it, I sent a picture to Scott, and Scott goes, "That's a good beer." Um, it's only good if you like it. Yeah, and I. Oh, That's the case with most things. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is, it's it's subjective, isn't it? It's whoever. It's thick, isn't it? Yeah, I just it's too bitter. It's very. Oh, what do you think? Do you think it's sweet or? Yeah, it is a bit sweet, but it's like, it is like really, really bitter. Yeah. But I think it's quite nice, but I see why people wouldn't. Yeah, I can see why the crafty lot drink it, because they, they're they supposed to like it. I, I think sometimes a lot of these things are just drunk because it's trendy to like them and whatever. It's beer. It's Belgian beer. <coughs> Excuse. Pig. Excuse me. It's Belgian beer. I've had worse. I've had better. Um, I'm glad I've tried it. So then you never have to have it again. No, I'm just glad I'm trying it because I think you should try things. You should open uh, your mind to other flavours and that, and you, you might like it. But for me, it's a bit bitter. It's a bit. <sighs> Don't know. What is it, it supposed to be flavoured as? I don't know. Yeah, it's spices. It's spices. just... I don't know. For me, you know when you're a kid and you first drink... My dad used to drink bitter. And you used to drink it and you think, Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I'll drink it because you're supposed to drink it and you're supposed to like it and all that. <sighs> oh, is that the... The thingy bit at the bottom, the thing, oh. Why are you that face? Because it's the only face I've got. Your normal face? Yeah. Any bit more? I don't really want any more. Oh, thank you. Yay! It's not for me. I won't be buying it again. I think if you if you just like normal beers, then you'll be okay to not have that. If you like that crafty beer stuff, go for it. Knock yourself out. I can't. Uh, I can't get excited over that. Can you, June? Sorry, sorry. Could you get over excited? Could you get excited over the beer? The thing is, I, want, I actually want to like it. I really want to like it and say, yeah, that's really good, but it's a bit syrupy, to be fair. It's a bit syrupy, it's a bit yeasty, it's a bit malty or whatever it is. It just, 
it tastes like fucking home brew to me. I don't know the difference. No, so don't you worry about it. Uh, all right, and I'll down this just for the camera. <laughs> okay. Because I can, but that was not big and that was not clever. <laughs> Ladies, 